All right, guys, Captain back here looking at lesson three from your homework set this week. And we got two lines that are intersecting here. And we need to find the value of B and C. So we're going to use a couple of the, the tools that we've learned this week. We'll start with uh, B degrees and 42 degrees are vertical. Because they are sharing uh, the same vertex and uh, not the same sides and they're opposite of each other therefore B degrees is 42 degrees because they're vertical and then lastly we can say that C degrees plus 42 degrees equals 180 because they are supplementary they form along a straight line right here. Therefore, C must be equal to the difference of 180 and 42, which would be 138 degrees. So pretty easy there to start us off. Uh, sorry, not B, but C. C degrees is 138. Okay, moving on. This figure, R and S are complementary. R and S add up to the same size as 90, which is on the opposite side, which makes sense because the 90 from these two plus the 90 from that make 180, which is how many degrees are in a triangle. So that, that makes sense. But since they are, that means that 62 plus S is equal to 90. Therefore, we just subtract the two find out what s equals 90 minus 62 degrees 8 to 70 28 so s degrees is 28 degrees moving forward if two angles are both vertical and supplementary can we determine these angles is it possible to be both vertical and complementary if so can you determine these angles explain how you know let's start with the first one if you have two lines that are intersecting and the two angles that are vertical, which we'll call these X and Y here, okay, those are vertical. Is there any way that they could also be supplementary or ever add up to uh, 180 degrees? Okay, we could say that X and Y. Oh, X and Y are supplementary if, well, they both have to be equivalent and add up to 90. I'm sorry, 180. So that means that they both have to be 90 degrees. And if that's the case, that means that the, both of the lines would have to form perpendicular lines. So X and Y are supplementary if lines are perpendicular. Is it possible for them to be vertical and complementary? Well, they could be vertical and complementary if they both equaled 45 degrees. Right? And uh, these types of angles would be uh, vertical and complementary. Uh, both can be vertical and complementary if they equal 45 degrees. And that would be that's how I know, because they, they add up and they equal the same, and they both are complementary, because they add up to 90. And there you go, that's your answer for the first three.